Hello, welcome back. I want to start out by saying thank you to everybody who came and joined in on the live, who interacted, who gave you your two cents as well, your thoughts. I mean, it's really incredible seeing all those comments. Um, my, I want to shout out to my moderator, Judy, and I also want to shout out to Rock That Body and to others who tried to help with the chat. I'm hoping that the next time's a little bit more organized as far as the questions are concerned. And I do apologize if I didn't get to your question. Now, there is a link on my community tab if you have a specific video that you would like me to um, do, um, produce. It could be about this case. It could be about another case. Okay. You might have to scroll down a little bit, but it's there saying drop your ideas here type of uh, type of post and I am getting a lot of requests for private readings if you are interested in that you can head to my website at mysticgen.com with all that said I welcome all my new subscribers I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you it is wonderful to find like-minded people who are into true crime like I am who want to see justice for these victims and the victims families now today's video is um, alleged uh, is all alleged it's what I believe and what I feel, my interpretation of the cards, it is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing is based on fact, just my intuition and what comes out in my cards. Now, what I wanted to talk about was the coroner's inconsistencies and contradictions. I mean, the coroner's office and the police. I mean, I mean, they fumbled the ball. As soon as it's kicked off to them, they fumbled it. Okay. And everybody's scrambling, trying to get that ball. Football reference, yes. And so everybody's scrambling to get this ball, to get it under control. Now, I did take a few notes of what I know. I'm not going to go into great detail because I want to get right to the cards. But right after the, um, the murders, okay, or not too long after, we'll say, um, the county sheriff's department had said that the county coroner had conducted an autopsy and the results of the autopsy was given to the police officers. Now... When Kathy um, Movitt was, uh, when she was interviewed, now keep in mind what she is, she is a former registered nurse and she is a licensed attorney. In addition to that, um, at the University of Idaho, I believe that she was, um, she's not only alumni there, but she was also an instructor teaching a lawyering type course there okay so she was elected as the coroner okay now she's not a medical examiner she is just she was just an attorney who was formerly a registered nurse okay now what she said is that that their office there at the county do not conduct uh, the conduct autopsies that they have um, and you know the only time that they, there would be autopsies performed would be as if they had a medical examiner what they have is a forensic pathologist and they contract the actual autopsies out to Spokane so, you have police department 
sheriff's department saying, we did a do autopsy, our county did the autopsy, and we have a coroner here who's not a medical examiner, said she didn't do an autopsy, they don't do those, because they don't have a medical examiner, that they contract that out to Spokane. Contradiction. Um, and then there were other things, other contradictions about the wounds. What was a categorized as a stab wound? And what was, what were slashes? Things like that. There are contradictions in there. Um, and there's, there's a, there is like also on the, I think it was one of the parents, it might have been, um, which parents, set of parents were they? It might have been Zana's parents. Um, but they were saying that the cause of death well, did not match the brutality of the wounds. So there's a contradiction there on cause of death. I mean, everybody agrees it was homicide, okay? The means was homicide, but the cause of death, there's controversy over that. And also, seriously, what kind of coroner, how professional is it to contact um, the families of a deceased, particularly Kaylee's family, and talk to the 17-year-old sister who's a minor and who goes in detail with that minor the the horrific death that her sister had suffered. I don't know about you. I don't know about this coroner. Just saying. But the police went on to say that <clears throat> they weren't going to reveal anything about cause of death or their more, or their wounds or anything like that because they didn't have want to contra they did not want to compromise the investigation. Well, they said that it definitely looked like it was a targeted attack. But they said, you're just going to have to trust us on that because we're not going to tell you why we think it was a targeted attack. Seriously, why are they so tight-lipped? Which brings me to the next point. BK. Seriously, what motive did he have as far as a, a targeted attack? This was an assassination, not just a murder. So, enough talky talky. And I got to remember where I put my notebooks. Because every time I do this, I manage to lose my notebooks. Okay, somebody in the comments tell me. The notebook's in the drawer. The notebook's in the desk drawer. Desk drawer. So I was trying to find my other notebook, and I, I was writing notes, and I'm like, oh, where is it? Okay. So. Oh, I don't have a beverage. When I come back, we're going to start with the cards. Okay. Just like that. A beverage appears. Magic. Okay, let's get the show on the road here. Phone needs to go over here. Okay.
Okay. We want to know what the spirit have to say about these contradictions with the coroner. We don't do autopsies. Oh, the our coroner did the autopsy. Ah. They want to distract us from the real purpose. Got distraction. Okay. Distracted communication. Okay, it was all a ploy. By the female. So the coroner, oh, the coroner, oh, they're saying the coroner was distracted. And it showed in her communication. Outer space in the reverse. Okay, that this is telling me this was intentional. Okay, she was intentionally. Okay, you know that distraction. The communication in the way that the coroner was communicating was meant to be a distraction, okay? That it appeared like she was out there, but she really wasn't. She knew exactly what she was doing, okay? Outside, oh, that's the other thing. She didn't go to the scene right away because police were there conducting their their um, investigation, and it came out that estimated time of death was two a.m. What did I say in my live, guys? Who was there? I said. It wasn't at 4 or 4.25. It was earlier than that. Everything was done by 3 a.m. And they said 2 a.m. That did come out. Okay. Witness in the reverse. You know, uh, no witness. No witness. Party in the reverse. No, again, upright is a lot of people. This is no, nobody. They wanted to make sure nobody was um, they wanted no witnesses. Nobody to see that. I kept on thinking crime of passion, crime of passion. I am being corrected. Perversion in the reverse. It was not a crime of passion. They're saying, nope, it wasn't. Yes, in the reverse is, nope, it wasn't a crime of passion. There was a lot of abuse to the bodies. You know, I mean, real, this reminds me of cuts. Okay. It's faulty. Now, surveillance in the reverse is telling me there is faulty surveillance. They ignored surveillance of what was really going on. Okay, let's do another sh shuffle. Surveillance is being hidden. Oh my God. Surveillance, surveillance is being hidden. Police have the proper surveillance. And it does not include co um, BK. Nope. 
They are ma they are making sure that nobody sees that survey the true surveillance tapes. Secret trip in the reverse. Okay. The one Jack that had his parents were doctors. Prominent people in the community who happen to be witness directly involved, actually. Um, a trip that he, th he was trying to keep quiet. He didn't want anybody to know that he was actually leaving. But the secret's out about that, too. Oh, there's something coming out about that trip. Serial killer. Serial killer that was supposed to be on a secret trip that was actually exposed, revealed. Yep. Water supply in the upright. This had been coming out in the reverse, which is talking about something being submerged. Something's, something's coming up to the surface. The real evil. The real evil is coming up to the surface. The real story. Deep state in the reverse. Something that was deeply rooted is surfacing. This is the second time I've seen the grandparents in reverse. Parents. Instead of grandparents, parents. Somebody's parents are involved in this. And it is really bad. It is really bad. Somebody who used to be dating, possibly, I would say Kaylee, The breakup was the trigger point for one of the killers. Um, so, there was a little bit of motive on one killer. Not to mention it was a setup, it was supposed to happen. took things down off of social media. Somebody's gonna talk. Got more reference to water. Is there a murder weapon in water? You know, kind of thought that the tunnels or something had something going on there. Okay. Let's take a look at this. They're still talking about the murders, but these are th some, these are things that, oh, no. Liquid. That's right. They're bringing it back to my mind. 
that the coroner coroner did not take into account or um, overlooked some clues that was reviewed would have in the toxology report. So the water upright on seeing the blood had something in it. It's like something in the water. We had the water supply upright. Something in the blood. Oh my God. Probably drugs that were used. There's the water supply. Water, water supply. Something in the water supply. Something in the blood. Something that was supplied and put into the blood. But the water was up in the reverse. Which means something in the blood that was being ignored or pushed under. Not acknowledged. So there was something there in the toxology report. Wow. But they're talking about two people here. Again, the two murderers. One that fled town. And the other one who had an axe to grind. Okay. So there was a little bit of personal vendettas involved in the murders. But only one particular murder. Because out of all the victims, Kaylee's wounds, I think, were the worst. Um, definitely far worse than Maddie. Okay. Okay, show me the energy of the corner her expertise whatever show me Kathy's energy two of cups partnership Playing nice with somebody. Judgment. The fool. The fool's looking at judgment and saying, Oh, you stupid idiot. Four of cups. Something missed. She knows that she missed... And what she missed. And it was planned and decided. Between her and somebody else. Of what was going to be in the, uh, in the autopsy and what wasn't. So this is also going to Spokane. Or who did the. Or did Spokane. Okay. Is there? I'm wondering if there's some. Is there somebody in Spokane? In the corner that is involved in this, to tr in a cover up or something. Ten of Wands. Magician. This is saying that. I'm feeling no. Um, the Spokane did not really want that kind of responsibility. There's the King of Cups. Doctor. But there was a doc. The doctor. Okay, the doctor reluctantly. But there's something between the corners.
No, that's not right. That's not right. The coroner knew. The, okay, maybe there is. The coroner knew how much was riding on these autopsy reports. Medical examiner, should I say. Knew what was riding and what was at stake. And I feel like that, okay, what they're telling me is somebody in Spokane knew something was up and was not, and something did not sound correct. They didn't want that responsibility of falsifying or altering an autopsy report. And here we are here, you know, th this is somebody who is very caring and loves their job. They didn't, whoever, whoever she spoke to or higher up officials spoke to, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they dropped the ball back on um, Kathy and her crew. And Moscow Police Department. This reminds me of somebody like a medical examiner with all the tools on the table. So what I feel is what they told what they were what they told or reported back said I don't we don't want any part of falsifying or altering or om omission. It's like we'll do the autopsy. We'll do it correct. You do whatever you do with the autopsy and that information's on you. It's like we're not we're not doing that. So somebody in Spokane spoke up and said, We're not omitting anything. Okay. So there was a conversation between medical professionals about the autopsy and somebody got shut down and said no nope, we're not doing that we're gonna do we'll provide you with a report and what you do with that report is to is on you or what you decide to do um did they even question why moscow wanted some stuff omitted No, they didn't question it. Um, they threw in a towel. They says, you're on your own. You're doing this you. Um, they didn't question why. But there, there is definitely a group of people that was involved in that. With the Three of Cups. They were trying to involve somebody else and somebody... They didn't even question why. I think somebody in, in Spokane didn't even question why. They didn't want to know why. They wanted to be ignorant. They didn't want to know why. So they just said, we're doing our report. You do with it as you see fit. What you want to do with it. Okay. Okay, I was just thinking about, this popped out, Ace of Wands, and the idea being born. I kind of wanted to know why um, why the police
aren't revealing, aren't talking about anything at all. Why aren't they talking anything about the autopsies? Oh, why aren't they discussing that it was a targeted attack? Why don't they want to talk about that it was a targeted attack? Okay, there's two. Two of wands. Can you say claustrophuck? Yep, I can. Confusion. Okay, cover that's cover up. They're trying to mask smoke and mirrors. There you go. Thank you, Spirit. Smoke and mirrors. They're purposely trying to cause confusion. Page of Wands. They're playing like they're dumb, they don't know. Shuffle again. The two of wands kind of flipped this way, so there wasn't showing. Um, there is a sense of embarrassment here for for whatever reason. I don't know what that is. They're trying to save face. But there is a cover up. An illusion. Secrets, yep. High priestess. There's hidden knowledge. They know exactly what happened also. Police alleged perp allegedly entertainment purposes only. I believe that officers involved in the case know exactly what happened. And who done it? Page of Cups. There's all these pages here. Pages are the messengers. Messages, go messages going back and forth behind closed doors. Secret, secret, okay, secret messages. Another page. Um, the only page that is missing is the page of swords. The investigation, um, the knowledge, gaining knowledge. We have paperwork here. These are the autopsy reports as well. These could also be representing the students. But this is saying a lot of paperwork. Secret paperwork. Secret agreements. Yes, lovers. Lovers have been showing up so much in this in these in this series, not just not just with me. Other crime um, tarot readers have been getting. I've heard them say, for them, the lovers are showing up as well, quite a lot. That's the choice. There's definitely. Contracts, agreements going on here to keep it hot. Hush, yeah, they know. Hermit. Keeping it quiet, keeping to themselves. 
And by the way, the dude that had originally said that they had, that um, the county had done a an autopsy, the coroner, it has retired. Can't even be interviewed, though. Stick a pin in that. Retired right after. Sounds suspicious to me. There's all this secret knowledge, all this secret stuff going on behind the scenes. And police officers, in what I feel, what I believe, is that the police officers are in up to their eyeballs in this. Queen of Pentacles. So is a female. Business. A mother figure. Temperance. I'm not sure what this female is here. I'm just going to ask a flat out yes and no. Is this um, Queen of Pentacles representation of Kathy the Coroner? This registered nurse. Yes. Yes, it is. So the coroner's office is in cahoots with the police. At least that's what I believe and what I feel. That's my opinion. Star is a plan. That has been worked on for a long time. This was not just a plan. It just happened yesterday. Ruthless leader that says, okay, it's time. Let's unlive them. By moonlight. There's the payout. So, you know, um, kind of feeling that police officers and coroners were handed some money. So you can't even trust the autopsy report in this case. You can't. And it's a shame that we can't trust those that protect that are supposed to protect us also. I was going to wait to put this out <clears throat> tomorrow, but we'll see how late it is. I think I'll still get a shit ton of views even if I put it out tonight. It's 8.45 p.m. my time. But back in California, it's only 5.45, so... Idaho is like two hours behind me. Okay. Any, is there anything else here?
Jealousy. That card keeps coming out. Somebody with ego. So there was a jealous stalker. Give you three guesses who that was. I'm not going to say their name. Comment below who you think that was. It's car trouble. Somebody who's on foot. Who had to walk. And because of the having to walk, there, I think that was part of the delay. Part of the delay. Why? Okay. Somebody was walking. Stalker was walking. A jealous stalker was having car problems. In other words, I take that as being on foot because of car trouble. No transportation. Koberger had transportation. I'm sorry. They're saying yes. Third party, bystander. Koberger was a bystander. So the dis there was the two and two is decision. Two plus two equals four. Four, four. Stability, stagnation, decision made, eight. Action taken. Somebody was stuck in a situation and there was a, a decision, a critical decision that was made and they took action. Eight. Eight's action, fast action, and that creates abrupt change. Okay. Just trying to see if there was anything else that they wanted. And this deck is kind of calling to me too. I used this one other time. This is not one that I use very much when it comes to these kind of readings. But the Spirit says use it. Um, and I am. There's a, obviously a message in this. This week, um, Princess Diana will also be coming up. Because it's been how many years? Since it's her it, 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 we're on her anniversary of her death. So I she's coming up. Another one on Hawaii stuff. Boy, that one's going to be a juicy one, let me tell you. A um, couple of the things. That enchanted emporium. There's that child. This is typically... This is the place of learning, the college. The corner is directly connected to the college. She's directly connected to the college. What else? Downfall. Release. Okay, there is a release. Um, I'm picking up the corner. <clears throat> Releasing information. The elder. She's the crown. It's a number eight. She is older. But this is somebody, the elder, this is somebody who gives wise advice. Oh, somebody kind of like a hermit. 
but who gives wise advice, is very strong in power, doesn't have to be female, it's just an elder. Shooting star. Now, I'm not saying wish fulfillment on this or anything like that. Shooting star is also a, a divine plan, a pathway, or a path in life. Staying on course. Accepting the quest and the resolve. Okay. Coroner's office. <clears throat> Allegedly, it is my belief that the coroner's office knew what was going to happen before it happened also. There are some big names involved in this case. And the coroner may have known a couple of the victims because what I'm getting is that she was going to go ahead and release the full-blown report release everything but somebody in higher power advised her to stay on course to keep to the plan because they said, you signed up for this. You accepted this quest. You got to see it through to the end. Okay. Well, now, now I understand why they want that this, this deck had things to say. It's causing a lot of conflict. Conflicting information. Whoa. She wanted to straighten the conflicting information out and she was told not to. There's a lot of conflicting information. The Pegasus, number 19, the sun. The Pegasus is fast moving. Um... Baroness. She's the Baroness. No, they said no. There's still another prominent female out there. We saw that with the Queen of Pentacles. Also, we, the Empress has come out in other readings. There's another female involved calling shots as well. Everybody. Everybody answers to the Baroness. Not a nice female. In fact. In fact. Um, give me a second here. Um, let me read to you what the what the book says about the Baroness. Let's see, she is number 21. 21 is the number of the world. Put a pin in that there for a second. Twenty one.
Let's see, that's 23. That's 22. 21, the bareness. This is underhand, underhandedness. Deceit, hidden enemy, false friends, or someone not working in your favor. Manipulation, jealousy, and gossip. <clears throat> someone with a poisonous tongue. The beautiful bareness appears against the background of a black, twisted forest. The mask and fan represent the hidden side of her character and conceal her true intentions. This bareness represents a false friend, hidden enemy, or points to someone who is not working in your favor. There is always a component of deceit found with this card, which may be accom accompanied by manipulation um, as someone tries to gain a selfish advantage at your expense. Sounds like very five of swordsy, doesn't it? It can also suggest jealousy or gossip, often motivated by something you have that someone else wants. Although the image features a woman, this card is not limited to gender. However, it will always relate to a person, whereas um, masquerade refers to an illusionary situation. Despite outward appearances, it represents someone who is not to be trusted and does not have your best interest at heart. Pay attention to what is going on around you and don't be complacent or take things for granted as someone is up to no good. And this reading was about the coroner's report with the contradictions of the police. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to let you draw your own conclusions on that. Now, this could be a woman. This also could be a man. This can also be, because we saw groups of people with the Three of Cups, and there's another thing here with groups, party. But there is somebody who's very prominent, who's, who's the ringleader, who cannot be trusted What was said earlier, you're just going to have to trust us. And I'm going to leave this reading at that. And I will see you in the next reading. Love and light.